everyone, how's life? Hope you're doing well. Today I am standing just outside the BNB Hotel near Disneyland Paris and it's where I've been staying for the past few nights. Um, it's my first time properly staying here and I thought I'd take you on a tour because this is one of the official Disneyland Paris partnered hotels. So it's not a Disney hotel but it's partnered with Disney. So Disney approves of this hotel and it's in the vicinity of Disneyland Paris. It's literally like a five minute drive. So it's definitely a good option if you don't want to spend too much because Disney prices can definitely be higher than a hotel like this and B&B in comparison to some of the other Disney partner hotels is actually one of the better priced ones it's definitely one of the cheaper ones I wouldn't say it's very cheap but it's cheaper than some of the other options that you can get here so come along on the journey with me and let's go and have a look at the hotel so as you would have seen behind me this is the main sign for the BNB hotel and there are a couple of other BNB hotels with this logo in France so make sure to specify the one closest to Disneyland Paris the one that's partnered with Disneyland Paris because you don't want to be staying in another one if you want this one you have to make sure that you get the address right it's called BNB hotels Disneyland Paris and this is its address just in case you're wondering so Avenue de la Fosse des Pressoirs Mani le Ongre uh, oui that's it I don't know why I said we just then so the hotel is just over there we are going to get to it in a second but I just wanted to show you this lovely pathway as well so there are actually five different hotels in this vicinity we've got the Explorers Hotel just around the corner and then after that we've got the Dream Castle Vienna Dream Castle and a couple of other partner hotels as well so they're all in this same line and the shuttle bus which we're going to get to in a second as well uh, goes through all these hotels so it takes guests from all of them to the Disneyland Paris parks one thing I love about this hotel is actually all the greenery surrounding it I think it's just so nice, especially on a beautiful day like today with pretty blue skies, lovely weather. Ah, oh, it's just really nice. Right, so as you might be able to see over there, that's one of the buses, the shuttle buses that goes to these hotels, these partnered hotels and uh, to Disneyland Paris and back and forth. Oh, I think it's going back to the park right now. It's just, it's just uh, released some people <laughs> in the hotel, to the hotel. I don't think the release is the right word. It's just dropped off some people, that's the one. It's dropped off a couple of guests to the hotel and now it's going back to pick up some more guests I would imagine from the parks. Uh, the shuttle buses are very very regular I'd say at least every 20 minutes or so so if you miss one don't worry another one should come very soon as I think I might have mentioned before the shuttle buses are free so if you're staying at the BNB hotel in Disneyland Paris uh, you will get a free service back and forth from here to Disneyland Paris which is a bonus you know <laughs> it just makes your life so much easier you don't have to worry about getting a taxi or an Uber or any other form of transportation um, and the bus stop is just outside the main entrance I will show it to you properly when we get closer to it but it's very easy to find it's literally just outside the the entrance slash exit when you come out of the hotel and as I said they're very very frequent but one thing to note is that because the buses do stop at the other four hotels nearby so Explorers, Vienna Dream Castle, uh, Magic Circus and I think the other one is Campanile um, your journey might be a little bit longer depending on you know which stop they make first so even though the actual distance from here to Disneyland Paris is very very short it would be like a five minute journey because the bus does stop at other hotels sometimes it can take you up to about 15 minutes it because it has to let other guests come and go as well so just to bear that in mind considering the BNB hotel is meant to be a two-star hotel it does have a pretty grand entrance in my opinion I mean what do you think leave comments down below let me know but in my opinion it looks pretty pretty grand pretty exciting from the outside anyway so as you would have seen earlier this is where the bus would you know drop you off or pick you up depending on whether you're going to the parks or coming back it's just outside the main entrance and whilst we're at it let me quickly tell you where you can find the bus to come back to the hotel as well so uh, to get back here from Amar la Vallée where Disneyland Paris is you would need to go to bus stop I so the letter I um, it's basically just outside Amar la Vallée station the RER slash train station slash Eurostar station so it's not very difficult to find you'll hopefully be seeing it right now the station letter I and it will have a sign that says it will go to all these five hotels as I said the five hotels in the vicinity BNB hotel is one of them so yeah you just make sure to get on that bus and it has all the timings that there is for you as well so um, again I feel like they're pretty regular coming back as well every 20 minutes or so I would say so yeah you don't have any problem whatsoever coming back and forth from these land parks okay so I am gonna enter the hotel now I've had to put my mask on as well of course uh, because you are required to wear masks everywhere indoors here in France so oh it looks to be quite busy at the moment a lot of people seem to be checking in so this is the reception area it's quite noisy it says bienvenue you see 
over here, the NV hotels. And over here actually has some information about the buses. You'll have all the timing. So it's evening time right now. You can see the next one comes at about seven past seven. Then the following one at 22 past seven. So they are very, very regular. Uh, and they will have all the timings for you on the screen over here. Um, yeah, this is some information about the pass sanitaire, the health pass here. This is the reception, pretty busy as I said. And then you actually have a boutique as well, so a little, a tiny uh, Disney shop, which is pretty exciting. Uh, a lot of the partner hotels do have a Disney shop in them, which I find to be quite cute. You've got Mickey here with the Sleeping Beauty Castle, looking adorable, I mean, look at his face. So cute. And then on the other side, you've got Minnie, of course. And Minnie's kind of standing outside the Walt Disney Studios park. She's saying hashtag best day ever. We are going to go in very quickly and have a look at what they have. So let me just wash my hands first. So it's a pretty small shop, but they do have all your little basic things like suitcases, of course, Disney-fied, some ears, some little dolls and toys. They've got all the princesses here, actually. That's fun. Some more toys and dolls and Mickeys and plushes. Woody's there. That's fun. Some caps. That's the thing over there where you would pay some t-shirts again very very basic stuff but it, it's it kind of it's a great way to start your holiday to be fair like if you've just arrived and you want to have a paris specific hoodie you can get it here and the prices are basically the same as you would find them in the park so no different uh but yeah there you go all the paris mergers here they've got some keychains as well of course Let's see what they have here. Some pens, some autograph books. Again, all the basic stuff that you would need before you go to the parks you can find here. They've got some postcards there as well. Uh, they also have some water and stuff, which is always good. And yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go back out. We're back in the main reception now. And as you can see, they do have this little carousel thing, which is cute, very fun for kids. And they do have Mickey's beautiful face everywhere because all the partner hotels do try and, you know, advertise Disneyland Paris to you because they know that a lot of families come to stay here because of Disneyland Paris and of course they are themselves partnered with Disney so of course they would want to do that. This is just a screen showing you some of the food options here. That's the reception again. Yeah, pretty small reception like you can see here. I do enjoy that lamp over there though, quite funky. And then you've got the lifts here to go to your rooms. But you also do have some lifts on the other side which is actually where my room is so that's where i'm gonna go now as you can see there is a sign over here that says ascenseur which is the word for lift in french fun fact in farsi or persian which is my uh, mother tongue we also say ascenseur for the word lift uh iranians have taken a lot of french words <laughs> into the language which i find quite fun but yeah uh this is a little hallway you do have some information here with the room numbers and Salle Petit Déjeuner, that's like the breakfast area. Uh, and we also have like a fun area. Oh, let me just show you this as well. This is the restaurant. This is where you would have your breakfast. There's a snack bar as well and there's a restaurant as well. I'll show that to you later on. But beforehand, I wanted to show you this gaming area, I guess you would call it. Yeah, so they've got some, yeah, just games. A lot of games. Fun stuff over here. They've got ice hockey as well which can be fun. My brother and I used to love playing it back in the days. That's fun. No one's playing it right now though. And just a lot more video games over here. Oh, this is fun too. So yeah, I enjoy that they have this. I feel like it would be a good thing for families with kids especially. Look at the Sonics over here. I am terrible at these games. Let me know what you're like because I have never in my life, I don't think, been able to win anything. Anyway, let's carry on from the little game room over there. Um, the next room that we see here over here i would say it's like a snack room except you obviously do have to pay for things so they do have a microwave here which is useful if you want to heat something up and they have some of these little machines where you can get yourself a drink i'm, I'm gonna be honest i haven't used these at all but if i wanted to i could buy myself a bottle of water or an orange juice or something um, and i think this one over there has some chocolates as well again it's always nice to have these little vending machines in hotels, I feel like it's quite the norm, especially in hotels like a BNB hotel type of hotel. Um, it just makes life easy, you know, if you want something late at night, you don't have to worry about going to anybody, you just come here and get yourself something. And they have a little area to sit as well, a couple of chairs and tables over here. That looks to be a, a cash exchange, but I don't know what the sign says in front of it. Who knows? 
Um, <laughs> it does say you have to wear your masks, of course, and there's some hand sanitizer, and that's it. That is basically the little snack room, I want to say. Following on, I think we do have some toilets here. So there you go, that's on your right. And then the lifts, which will take me to my room, which obviously I'll show you my room as well uh, towards the end of this video. But this is Leal, uh, which is, as I said, their main snack bar, their restaurant. It's also where they would serve breakfast. I had my breakfast here this morning, and I'll show that to you in a second as well. But I just wanted to show you this menu as well because they do do um, evening food as well. So it's not just breakfast, of course. Breakfast is included in your stay, but uh, things like pastas and food and pizzas that you can buy, you can just buy. They're not included. And the prices seem decent. Like, I've seen a lot of families buying things from Leal in the evenings and going outside and eating it there. Let me just show it to you. Like, there's nobody here right now because of the weird time I'm filming this at about 7 o'clock. Most people are probably in the parks, but... Yeah, there's an outdoor area and because the weather's nice, a lot of people would just take their food and eat it outside. And then this is the actual restaurant area. Bonjour. Bonjour. So there's some lovely seats here. You've got a wonderful, huge TV screen here as well if you want to watch football or anything else. That would be the entrance to the outdoor area, which I'm just going to go out for a second because the weather is nice and I want to get some fresh air as well. Like, look. Oh, this is beautiful. It is lovely. Oh look, they've even got like a little uh, toy thing for kids over there. So yeah, I do think in terms of location, it's very, very beautifully located, this hotel. As well as the other hotels in the vicinity, as I mentioned, but this tends to be the cheapest one of the five partnered hotels in this area. And I mean, look over there. I don't know if you can see in the background. This is cool. Coming here makes you feel like you're not even in Disney because a lot of the Disney actual Disney hotels in Disneyland Paris are obviously very Disney themed which I love I appreciate that but if you want something a bit more relaxing and cheaper of course you might want to consider this I mean what an incredible view to have your breakfast with like in the mornings imagine sitting here and just looking into that view especially if the weather's as nice as it is today as well ah oh, wonderful they've even got some fairy lights to make the area cuter and more atmospheric right I'm going back in so these are the tables and seating areas inside the restaurant if you'd prefer to eat inside. And then this is the bar. I think it's closed at the moment. I've seen it open later on in the evenings though. Um, but yeah, nice bar area. And then they've got a cute kid section over there. It says, viens jouer avec nous, come play with us. So if you have children again, they've got a cute little section over here. I love it. You know, obviously I'm not a child, but I feel like it's still cute. And then some more seats here and then the breakfast area i had breakfast earlier this morning so i'll go to it now so for the buffet breakfast it looks like you take one of these little i guess trays and then there's a variety of things it's basically a buffet which i haven't I haven't done a buffet in so long ever since covid basically but yeah i think it's mainly croissants and cereals and let's have a look maybe some fruits over there i don't think it's hot food there's some apples, some yogurts here. Oh, there's some bread here as well. And some some cakes. Biscuit pocket. That looks interesting. I think I'm just gonna go for a croissant and you can actually warm up your croissant, which is nice. And they have a coffee making machine here as well for your teas and coffees or any other drinks that you want. So this is what I decided to go for. I just went for two croissants. I did toast them up. I just wanted them to be warm, but um, now this, this little bit looks a little bit burnt, but that's okay. I got myself two Nutellas, which I'm probably not even going to use. I might use one of them. I just wanted to be safe rather than sorry. And then one salted butter and one unsalted butter. And I think that's kind of, that should be okay for my breakfast. There were some ham and cheese options as well that you could probably make yourself a sandwich with. This is my view though. I wanted you to see my, my view. This hotel, the B&B Hotel, I feel like it's quite an underrated hotel, you know? Because yes, you know, it's not one of the most exciting hotels it's not very magical it's very very basic but that means it's very well priced as well and despite it being not very expensive you know i think it's a very affordable hotel uh, compared to some of the other ones here it does have some cute things such as this view for your breakfast and it's located in a nice calm area uh, outside disneyland paris as well so yeah they also do have these cutleries that come in these little packets and as far as i can tell um, they are meant to be recyclable so that's good who knows but yeah, I don't need, do I need cutlery? I might need a uh, knife just to put some butter on my croissant. But yeah, I mean, 
Not that I expected anything extravagant from, from, the, uh, from the buffet here, but what I got was actually like, I think it was a good selection of things. They had all the classic things, you know, croissants, your breads, your cereals. Uh, I am probably going to go and get myself a drink later on as well, just like a coffee. I didn't have enough hands to, to grab myself one. But um, yeah, I think especially because it's uh, normally included as well, every time I've uh, tried to book the B&B hotel, this is my first time staying here properly, but in previous times I've looked into it and it's always included. Um, if you book through booking.com especially, it always says, yeah, breakfast is included. But even if you book it through the actual website, like this time round, I booked it through the B&B hotel um, officially, directly, and breakfast is still included. So I'd, I think that's a good deal, you know, a good deal. And I'm enjoying the view. So I'm going to eat my breakfast now and let's go back to Sam from the past. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my breakfast from this morning. I certainly enjoyed it. The croissants were very, very nice to be fair and now I am going to go to third level which is where my room is let me just press this oh it's like it's like the lift was waiting for me amazing and yeah we just wait to go to level three they're advertising the breakfast here again and some of the other food that they have at Les Halles perfect let's go there you go the lights will automatically turn on, there you go, awesome. Also they do have hand sanitizer here as well. I just love it, I use it almost every time. I'm not gonna use it now because I'm just about to go to my room. But I love the, <laughs> the floor as well. It says, I'm pretty sure it says like, hello in different languages, that's Japanese over there. That's cool. So yeah, uh, this is the hallway. My room is towards the end of this hallway, but I don't mind, it just means that it's quite a quiet room actually, which is always nice. Oh. I love it when the lights just open, not open, turn on by themselves. Feels a bit like magic. Ooh. Okay, so this is my room number, 3106. Funnily enough, they've actually put some hand sanitizer just outside my room as well, just by accident. Um, and yeah, one thing that I find really interesting about this hotel, and I'd never seen it before, is that they're not actually using cards. So instead of cards, they actually have like a, like a code. So when you check in, they give you your you know unique code. And I think the code is about six numbers long, and that's how you access your room, which I just, it's just so bizarre to me. But I do like it in a way, because it just means I don't have to worry about losing my card or forgetting my card, because it's all... It's all numbers, and I've saved it on my phone. So um, yeah, let's go in and have a look at the room, shall we? There you go. Woo. Oh, let me just close the door. Bam. Oh, I didn't actually make that loud of a noise. I'm happy about that. I'm gonna turn the light on um, and show you this first. Just has some of the prices for don't even know what this is. Oh, I guess, I'm not quite sure. I guess some of the room prices for different times of the year. Um, that's just a map of the hotel and like the escape and evacuation things that you might need to know in case something happens. And then here on your left hand side, the first thing you see is the bathroom. And that's kind of the door that was making a bit of a noise when I first entered. I am gonna show you the bathroom in a second, but before I do that, I just thought I'd give you a quick pan of the room as well. It's obviously not a very big room, by the way, sorry about the mess over there, that's just that's just my suitcase, my only suitcase that I've brought with me here. Yeah, it's not a very big room at all, but it does the job, you know, it's only me on the ship. I don't need anything bigger, I'm more than happy with this. And then, yeah, let's go inside and have a look at the very, very small bathroom. So, again, I don't mind at all. But it is a pretty small bathroom. I don't know why I just did that. You all know what a toilet looks like, but there you go. That's a toilet. You do have some little hooks there as well if you want to put some towels on here. But nothing too exciting. Then you've got here. Hi, you've got me. Wow, I, I look a bit of a mess, don't I? It's been a hot day. But yeah, this is the uh, mirror, as you hopefully can see here. By the way, I've got a bottle of water here, so if my trousers look a bit weird that's why basically um that is the sink i don't know what's happened there oh that's weird um yeah that's my <laughs> toothpaste obviously they give you one towel here which isn't a very good towel but it's fine um so they've got one towel here the rest of the towels they place on the actual bed you've of course got your um uh poubelle or what's the one i'm looking for trash can slash bin some little cups here 
a little plug as well and then you've got a shower um, which is an alright shower not the best but again it does the job um, also one thing that I don't particularly like but again I understand that because I'm not paying a lot of money and the hotel is, isn't very pricey I understand that I can't expect too much but they've got this thing over here which is meant to be a hair and body shampoo so you can use this for your hair your body and also it's meant to be soap for your hands as well so as you can see here they don't give you any actual soap um, nothing like <laughs> this is how the the sink came when I first arrived obviously it didn't have this because I brought this with me but you don't get any actual soap and I did ask at downstairs as well and they just told me to use that for my hands which I have been doing but I don't know there's something weird about for me anyway I find it a bit weird to use the same thing for my body my hair and my hands I wish I bought my own soap perhaps so if I were to ever stay at this hotel again I will make sure to bring soap with me just like hand soap that's different to what I'm going to put on my body and my hair just a preference thing but yeah there you go this is the bathroom um, small but as I said does the job I have no complaints whatsoever really apart from the soap issue everything else is fine so we're going to leave the bathroom now let's uh, turn it off and close the door and get into the main area. So, you might have noticed an extra thing on the bed now. That's my lounge fly bag. I just took it off my shoulders because I need a bit of a break. So I've placed that there, but everything else is basically the same. Um, yeah, so you come in, that was the bathroom that I just showed you. You do have this little thing here for like the temperature in your room if you want to change it to higher up or lower. I think it's fine as it is, to be honest. I don't tend to play with these things. Um, yeah, sorry about the suitcase over here. Um, I don't really know where to start to be honest let's start with this area here so you get this little desk which is a little bit of a mess I do apologize um, this is I think a code some information stuff so if you scan this you get some information they did actually provide me with uh, two of these as well lotion hydro alcoholic so I guess it's just it's just like again for sanitization and stuff um, and I've used that before um yeah not a lot else going on here to be honest that's just my laptop oh, that's just a remote for the tv and the tv is just there it's a pretty small tv i haven't used it at all so i'm just going to put this back where it belongs um yeah you don't get any english plugs or any like usb plugs i've bought this myself if i take it off you will see it's just european ones which is fine you know I always expect the worst, so I always bring something with me. And this is actually a very good adapter if you're thinking of getting one because it has two USB ones and then one English one or UK one. You do get a um, hairdryer, so that's nice. You, of course, also get a mirror over here. So, hello. And a light on the top. And then, honestly, that's basically it. Of course, there's a chair as well, which I've <laughs> put my clothes on. Wow, sorry, I've, I've basically made a whole mess of this area. Oh well, I will clean up obviously later on. Um, and then you have this area here. Pretty small area again, but it's enough for, for me anyway. If you wanted to hang your clothes. I haven't because this is actually my last night here, so I'm on the verge of packing things and taking them away. But if I were staying longer, I would happily, you know, hang my stuff here. And there's some storage at the very top as well. And I guess you can maybe even use the bottom area over there for some storage if you wanted to. Again, I haven't, but it's a possibility. And honestly, that's it. The next part is just the bed, which is a very, very basic bed. But it's actually been fine for me. Again, every evening I'm so tired that I don't mind if my bed is like phenomenally comfortable or just a little bit comfortable. I'm just happy to sleep anywhere. I'm just happy to have a bed. And it is a double bed. Like I said, not the most comfortable bed and the pillows especially aren't the best, but this is just being, being very, very nitpicky. Honestly, I personally haven't had much of a problem. I've slept well, like doesn't really bother me. Um, let me show you the towels as well, because as I said, they do position them on the actual bed for you instead of in the bathroom. So there you go. Every day when you come, when they do your room, you'll get two towels um, on the bottom of your bed. So one here and one there. I'm sure if you ask for more, they would bring you them, but um, yeah you do get your basic two. I actually did have to ask for an extra pillow, I'm not gonna lie. And the only reason for that is, let me see if um, it's actually visible. On my first evening, when I first arrived, I didn't wanna make a big fuss, but I did notice that one of the one of the pillows, I genuinely can't remember which one it was now, had a couple of stains on it. 
I can't find it now and they might have swapped it for something else. I didn't mention it to anyone because again I just didn't want to make a fuss. You know when you're traveling and you come to a new hotel all you want to do is just sleep. You don't want to be bothering anyone. All you want is literally some peace but I just asked for an extra pillow so that I didn't have to use the one that did have the little stains on it. It wasn't anything too bad. Like I wouldn't say it was dirty. It just clearly hadn't been washed properly. It just had some some little like orangey stains on the on the pillow. So that's that's just me being completely honest as always but apart from that honestly considering this is a two-star hotel and a very well-priced Disneyland Paris partner hotel as well in my opinion it's been very clean I mean you can see a little bit of wear here and there like over here I don't know if you can see it there obviously it doesn't look fantastic there but as far as cleanliness it's pretty clean I've not had a problem really apart from that little minor issue with the pillowcase I've not had an issue whatsoever and then um, you do get your little bedside lamps on both sides. I've been sleeping on this side of the bed. As you probably all know, I always like to sleep as far away from the window as I can. I don't know why, it's just a weird thing about me. So I always choose the furthest away side, even if I'm just traveling on my own. Um, you do have some another plug there. It's a European one. And then this is the curtain. Decent view to be fair, like, I mean, it's just trees, but it's nice enough. Um, so yeah pretty small window but again I'm absolutely happy with it I don't need anything more um, as long as I've got just a bit of light to wake me up in the mornings I'm happy so yeah there you go let me just show you the room from this angle as well so you can see it you can see all my mess over there <sighs> Lord have mercy the TV of course um, and yeah you can see that I'm like I don't have a lot of space here it is pretty cramped so I don't know if this would be a great room for more than like three or four people I think two three people absolutely fine but if you're a big family you might need a slightly bigger room and I think they do do rooms with multiple beds obviously it's just me so I've been given one big bed but I think they do do family rooms as well so um, just uh, have a look on the website and see what they have because this wouldn't be the only option. I've seen loads of families staying here and there's no way they would be staying in a room like this. They would have separate single beds for their kids as well, more than likely. So there you go. I'm not really sure what else to say, to be honest. Oh yeah, one last thing. They do have a full length mirror, of course, which I appreciate. I feel like every room needs one, every hotel room in my opinion anyway. It just makes life easier, especially if you're going to Disney. Just one, one quick look at your outfit top to top to bottom that's the one to make sure it looks decent enough I mean not saying I ever succeed with the decentness I try it's good to at least be able to try you know <laughs> have the option to try but yeah um all in all I've I've enjoyed my stay here it's not been incredible oh let me show you one last thing sorry just in terms of where just I just want to be as transparent as possible as you can see there is little bits and bobs here that just doesn't look good I don't know how well you can see it like obviously that doesn't look fantastic does it or this little stain next to it but <sighs> doesn't bother me as I said I'm, I've only been here for for like the past three or four nights so it's not been a long stay and especially traveling at a time like this August time when a lot of the hotel prices do shoot up because it's the summer holidays um, I think this is a good option and for somebody like me who travels solo more than happy to stun the job I have nothing to complain about really um, and yeah, I actually quite like how cosy it is because of how small it feels. Like I, I've enjoyed it and the staff have been very friendly downstairs in terms of like service. It's been good service. So I would recommend it. It's definitely not my favorite Disney partner hotel. I've stayed at multiple better ones. I mean, Vienna Dreamcastle, um, Hotel L'Elysée, which I stayed at on my previous visit in June. That's like probably my favorite one so far. But like I said, if you want something cheaper that is still clean and still pretty cute, you know, and very close to the parks, I would recommend the BNB Hotel. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever stayed here, what you think of it, if you would consider staying here. Thank you so much for watching as always. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.